So I wanted to create a WordPress plugin that would show all of my latest YouTube videos as a gallery on my website, tegrel.co. So basically, whenever I upload a new video to this channel, it would automatically show up on my website as well. That's the idea. Now we have a slight problem and the problem is I am not a developer. I don't really know how to code. But the good thing is all the new AIs that we have, they know how to. So I started off with a prompt. A WordPress plugin that pulls video information from a YouTube playlist and shows them in the front end of a website. In a grid format, I wanted to show six videos at least. I need a place in the back end to put in the playlist link, API keys for YouTube if needed, and also custom CSS for the front end gallery slash grid. I wanted to dynamically pull the info like title, thumbnail, description, and show them in my own styling. I don't want it to just embed the videos. Under each video card, I want a play button that opens the link on a new tab. So you see, this prompt is very simple, it highlights my need, and it also gives the AI a good direction on what I wanted to create. So I gave this prompt to Claude AI, and it gave me a plugin. Singular PHP file with everything that I would need for the plugin to be running. Here you can see all the CSS classes, all the functions, etc. that we would need. It's got it all. And yes, I went ahead and I made a small tweak to the prompt. If you check out my channel, I upload a lot of videos, and if you check these videos here like everything has a similar thumbnail this is basically a part of a course and i wouldn't want every single video of mine to be there so instead i opted for creating a playlist right uh like this right here and it would just pull whatever videos i have here into the gallery so whenever i'm uploading a video i'll just add it to this playlist i hope that's clear and after this i quickly jumped into local wp to create a new website and vs code to access the files after that i created a new folder a new php file and i pasted in my code and now if you go within plugins, my plugin should be right here. There it is, YouTube Playlist Grid. Let's activate it. And I don't see any critical errors. So now if I go within settings here and then I go within YT Playlist Grid, this right here is our backend. So it's very simple. If I basically copy paste this uh, short code that we have in the front end, then it should render this gallery of mine. Let's go ahead, let's do that. There it is, that right there is the short code. Let me publish the page. And now it says, please configure the YouTube API key and playlist ID in the plugin settings. Now, this is a good sign because obviously we haven't set up anything. And yes, without the YouTube API keys, we can't quite get any information from the YouTube playlist. Getting the YouTube API key might sound like some sort of tech wizardry. It's really not. It's a very simple process. All you really have to do to get a YouTube API key is to go over to console.cloud.google.com. You can create a project in there, you can enable the YouTube API, and Google will basically give you an API key that you can use to retrieve information from their services. So now that I have my API key, I'll simply paste it in here. I will also paste in my YouTube playlist link right there. And number of videos is currently set to six. That's totally fine. Let's save the changes. And there it is. Now this is amazing. It has also given us a nice styling. I actually might not change things that much because it already looks so good. I was very ready to write some CSS because CSS is something that I do know, but it already came out looking very good. Claude also went in and added this subtle animation there like the change in the shadow, it pops the thing up a little bit. Now, I would like to point one thing out. This code is not the best. You see, it has given us a single PHP file in here, which has everything crammed into it. All the functions that I would need, all the HTML, right? All the CSS classes, everything is in here. This right here is not the best practice. It's always good to separate the files. But for now, since the project is so small, I think it's fine. But yeah, if I do continue working on this project, then I will make sure to separate the files and follow some of the development rules, so to speak. But yeah, I don't know if I will work more on this plugin. Let me know if I should. Now here, everything was working fine, but I realized we might run into an issue. So you see, whenever you're pulling any information from APIs, which is called an API call, these are generally rate limited. So with the current code that we have, it only updates the playlist once every hour. So suppose if I happen to upload a video, it might take like an hour for it to show up on the website, which is not ideal. So I thought about adding a manual refresh button, which I could click to refresh all the API data that we have within the website. And after I click on that button, the gallery would update instantly. So I went ahead and I asked Claude to add a manual refresh button, which it did. And I also asked it to add comments after each block of code so that I can understand 
what each part of the code is doing. That is just for me, even though I don't know coding, it doesn't mean I'm just gonna blindly put all my faith into this code. All right, I wanted to see what this code is exactly doing, even though I may not know how to code things, if I just know what each block of code does, that would be very helpful. So after that, I went ahead, I got the new code, I pasted it within VS code, and I was good to go. So now this right here should be our updated plugin. There it is. Uh, so suppose I add a new video within this playlist, I can come in, I can click on clear clack, clear click. <laughs> clear cache and refresh playlist and after that it would basically clear whatever cache we have in the back end and it will make a new api call get new information and yeah after all these changes i think my plugin is ready sometimes it feels so surreal like this plugin i bas it basically was an idea a while back and now it is a full-fledged functioning plugin all that without me having to spend weeks learning about php wordpress this is just crazy. And now it might be the time to deploy it to my website, tegrel.co. And that is exactly what I did. I first of all went ahead and I created a zip file for the plugin. And then I logged into Tegrel's website. I installed the plugin. I put in the API key, the playlist link, and bada bing bada boom. We're on business. I think we are done. Let me check out my website. Let me turn this thing off. Let's scroll down and there it is. Okay, so we do have some sort of CSS conflict in here that it seems we need to fix. Now, this was not a major issue. It was just a basic CSS issue that we had to fix and it took, took me just a couple minutes to figure out what was wrong and we were back on track. And this is exactly why I created the custom CSS field so that if I was having any sort of styling issue, I could fix it and I could paste in little snippets of code right in there. And that is exactly what I did. And there it is. Now it looks fine. So this right here is my new YouTube gallery. So whenever I upload a new video, it's, it's going to show up right here. Actually, let me try it. So this right here is a video. I uploaded this thing yesterday. Let's go ahead. Let's add it to our playlist. Save it to subscribe to Tech Grill. You better subscribe to Tech Grill. There it is. It has been saved. So if I come back here, I refresh it. It shouldn't work yet. All right. It's not working. So now let's go ahead. Let's hit our cache and refresh button if i come back here and if i refresh there it is that's my video hey let's go we've done it chat we've done it now a few things like the heading here i don't quite like it i can change it later on but this looks fine i like it and also when i was actually working on the code i was in my home so to keep track of things and to get the latest version regardless of where i was working from i went ahead and i created a github repo as well and it asked me for two-factor authentication and i don't even know which authenticator i've used for this one and i'll leave a link down below for this repo from where you can download the plugin as well if you want to and yeah i suppose that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you drop a like subscribe if you haven't already trying out a new format let me know what you think oh and i almost forgot if you haven't already follow me on twitter links down in the description below and yeah i suppose that's about it for this video i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care